It can be fun to once in a while revisit your childhood days and relive them. One day I happened to see a remote controlled helicopter someone had and decided to give it a try. Having lost practice of using a joystick, it was a little hard in the beginning, but in a few attempts, I thought I was becoming a pro in flying it. It was then that I remembered how a friend of mine from London had taken me for a ride on his private plane. As we were taking off, I recollect sharing an inspiring quote with my friends on that flight. I had said, when everything seems to be going against you, remember that the airplane takes off against the wind, not with it. Well, the tiny Cessna we were flying in definitely gave us a real-time experience of that quote as it was super wobbly during takeoff. But we had a very smooth landing. Don't they say? All is well that ends well. Recently, I decided to try a real adventure. A one in which you take off in a plane but don't land in it. Skydiving. The night before, I'm lying in bed, visualizing myself jumping off the plane, thinking, what if the parachute doesn't open? What if it opens but malfunctions when we are in the air? What if I have a free fall straight on the ground? Ladies and gentlemen, do you know what's stopping us from taking the plunge? Do you know what's stopping us from growth? Two words, what if? What if I fail? What if I lose? What if people mock me? What if he or she says no? What if, what if, what if, what if life will pass away and our minds will stop us from realizing our truest and fullest potential? That night, I decided to confront my what if and shut my mind up. I asked myself, do you want the experience of jumping off a plane? Yes, came the answer from within, then no what ifs. Whatever happens, be ready for it, I said to my mind. To make sure it was not an uncalculated risk, I decided to evaluate the risk factor. When I checked the statistics of skydiving casualties on Google, it was 13 fatalities in 3.3 million skydives last year, way less than the car accidents that took place last year. But what if I happen to be one amongst the 13? My mind protested again, then lie down here in bed, snoring and being a couch potato, missing the exhilarating experience in your life, I told my mind as I drifted away into sleep, crossing the crippling boundary of what-ifs, I remember telling myself, look darling, your skydiving support tomorrow is an expert. He has had several years of experience with thousands of skydives and not a single casualty was recorded. Relax, take it easy. The next day, as the doors of the plane opened at 18,000 feet above ground level, I was ready, telling myself, I want to do it, I can do it, I will do it. I remember standing at the edge of the plane door, now fearlessly looking down, and then we jumped. That free fall was the most liberating experience of my life. Liberation from the two Paralyzing words, what if, as we floated in the air, feeling light like never before, the parachute opened and I thought to myself, today the parachute has opened and so has my mind. Open your minds, face those things that are holding you back, cross the limiting boundaries of your what ifs, believe me, an amazing life waits ahead on the other side of what ifs.